Well, today we're talking about Canon's Camera Connect app that's built into almost every DSLR and mirrorless that they've released in the past five years or so. So we're gonna talk about how to set it up, we're gonna talk about what features you can use, and we're gonna talk a little bit about why you would even want to do this. Let's get into it. Well, hey, what's up? My name is Tony and I'm a filmmaker photographer in the St. Louis area. I just recently got the R5 and the R6 and I've just been really enjoying these cameras. And one of the features that I have loved ever since like the 80D is the Canon Camera Connect app that's on my iPhone. This is a simple way for you to control your camera, to download images, to change settings, all sorts of different things without being close to your camera. So why would you want to do this? Well, it makes it easy for things when you're shooting like this and maybe you cannot see your screen or you wanna make quick settings without moving. Those are all things that you can do with this app. Also, you can download photos and now video with the R5 and R6 straight from your camera to your phone wirelessly. So say you're in the field, you wanna post something on Instagram that you just took, this is a simple way you just have it connected to your phone. It sends even the raw file to your Canon Camera Connect app and then you can throw it in Lightroom right on your phone, upload it to Instagram instantly. Another reason why is maybe you just wanna back up some of those really precious files that you have on your camera. That's another reason why you can use this. Canon's coming out with all sorts of this new digital technology that's connected all of the time. And with the new R5 and R6, you can actually use your phone to upload to their cloud and then they will store it until you can download it to your computer. So essentially, with this app, you would not ever have to take your memory card out of your camera, which is where most of the failures come from. All sorts of reasons to use this Canon Camera Connect app. Um, Another, you know, just kind of brainstorming here with you, another thing is maybe you want to control your camera, but it needs to be somewhere where you can't reach it. So say uh, it's close to some wildlife, say it's close to a bird feeder or something like that. Uh, you don't want to be close to your camera because then the birds aren't going to come. So you can control it with your camera app just like that. Uh, I've used it personally when I'm using like a telephoto lens. Say I wanted to shoot a talking head like this, but with a 70 to 200. And so I would set it all up. I would use the Canon Camera Connect app to control the camera to hit uh, start record, to stop record, maybe change my ISO if I needed to do that. That's another reason that I would use it. So let's jump into the camera and I will show you how to set it up. What you'll need is your phone and you will need obviously your camera. So why don't we do that? We're gonna be working with the R5 and R6 quite a bit. The process for both of them is the exact same. And I tell you what, it is so much better than anything that I've used in the past. In fact, uh, when Canon released the R5 and the R6, one of the things that I really wanted on these cameras was GPS because I love throwing it into the Lightroom and you can look on the map and see where your photos are. Well, that feature kind of went away with the EOS R, the ADD, all of those, but I loved it on the 5D Mark IV. So I was a little bummed when they released that the R5 didn't have a built-in GPS, but I like the connection so much better on the R5 and R6 uh, that, and, and I'll explain some of the reasons why, uh, that it doesn't matter really that this camera doesn't have a GPS module in it right now. So uh, it actually uses the app, the phone data to do that so you don't have to have that GPS in there. So why don't we get into the camera and the iPhone and I will show you how to set this all up. Let's go. Okay, so it is time to set up the cameras. The first thing you need to do is just go to your purple menu. And uh, on the first menu, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different settings. First thing I always do is I rename my camera. So uh, this is kind of just a generic name that they give it. And I just go in here and I rename it whatever I want. And that's done. We'll go back to the main menu. So now what you wanna do is just start the process. Go up to Bluetooth connection, then you just hit the phone connect. Um, yep, we will do that for now. Add a device to connect to. And then it will um, just ask you which kind of device you're gonna be going on. 
for this example, we are going to use the uh, iOS. So then it'll pop up this, and all you have to do is just take your phone and take a photo. When you do that, it will pop up a little menu. And when you do that, it will take you straight to the Canon Camera Connect app on your uh, device's store. So if that's Android or whatever it is, it will take you there. All you have to do is download it and you're ready to go. So hit OK, uh, pair via Bluetooth, and it will ask you to enable this. Uh, once the camera is paired, it will stay on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you want to open up the camera Canon, uh, the Canon Camera Connect app. And as it's searching, it should just pop right up. Now, if it doesn't pop up, you can go through the connection. Uh, we're going to do a new camera here. Just type in R5. Uh, yes, this is your camera. And you go through this process, Bluetooth, go through this is all we just did then it pops up and you just want to hit OK it will ask you to pair it connect to this iPhone and we have now been uh, paired so now you are connected to the app and what you can do is you can control your camera now what it's doing is it's connected to the Bluetooth and now it's establishing a, um, a Wi-Fi connection which is going to be able to allow you to transfer data, it will allow you to control your phone, a lot more features. When it's just Bluetooth, that's transferring things like your uh, GPS coordinates from your phone to your camera, which is very nice. And most of the time when I use it, that's how I'm using it. I just have it connected and it's in my pocket. Now that we're connected with Wi-Fi though, you can actually pull focus um, from the camera, just like that. If you want to change settings, you can just move it up and change your settings. And the camera corresponds to whatever uh, settings you choose, which is pretty cool. You can control your aperture, you can control your white balance, you can even uh, you know, kind of play around with autofocusing, and uh, you can see your levels for recording, all sorts of different things within this. You've got some camera settings that you can uh, dial in from here and uh, just kind of play around with some of the settings that are in this app. This is really helpful if you're trying to record something where you can't see directly. So like when I'm using an overhead, I will use this a lot because I'll be able to see what I need to do and pull focus on where I need to pull focus um, without being able to see the back of the camera. This is really nice. You don't have to have an external monitor, uh, just a really easy, simple, um, simple setup. Now, if you want to transfer some images, all you have to do is just look through them and you can see here, we've got this image of my daughter taking a photo. First thing you want to do is hit on this little settings thing and make sure that raw image save format is on raw and not JPEG. And so then when it downloads it, so we'll select this, you hit import and it automatically saves this photo to my phone. Now this isn't something that I would want to do with like a thousand photos. But if I want to really quick post uh, to Instagram a photo that I just took in real life, this is an easy way for me to do that without having to get to a computer, pull out an SD card reader, yank out the SD card or CF Express and um, do all of that. I can just instantly transfer a raw file. Obviously JPEGs work as well uh, and they're much faster transfer rates. Uh, but you can download the raw to your phone, edit it in Lightroom and throw it on Instagram for a quick photo or two while you're out in the field. I'll do this. Uh, several times and it's a it's a really nice feature to have now let's talk through a few different things right now in the menu system right now we are connected to the phone via Bluetooth the way that you can see this is right here in the bottom it shows that you're connected with Bluetooth but the Wi-Fi is off so if you don't want the phone to connect at all all you have to do is turn on airplane mode for your camera and it will turn off both Wi-Fi and um, both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Another thing we want to do while we're in here is you want to go down to device, a GPS device, 
and you want to go ahead and just turn this on to smartphone. And what that does is it will use the information from your smartphone to tag your photos and you can use that in multiple different ways. I know that Lightroom is adding some new features that are going to be using some of this because all of our iPhone photos have this information as well. And so I know that um, I know that, that Lightroom is doing that. I've been talking with them a little bit about it. So kind of a cool feature. So you want to make sure that that's on. And what you can do is you can see right here, it shows GPS is connected. Now, if your phone is not connected, this will be blinking. And all you have to do is just open up the app and make sure that your phone connects to your R5 or R6 and it will automatically send the GPS coordinates to your phone now that we have that set up. That's a big feature for me. I really enjoy having that. Other than that, you can set up some other things. You can kind of play around. You can choose whether or not it sends RAW or uh, JPEG. I prefer just RAW, so we'll leave that there. Um, you know, there's all sorts of different features in here that you can kind of play around with. Um, same with on the phone. You want to make sure that you kind of look at that. You can use, you know, location information. You can change some of your camera settings once you connect to the camera app. There's all sorts of things that will uh, be really beneficial to you with using this setup. All right, well, hopefully this video on setup and features of the Canon Camera Connect app has been helpful to you. Like I said, man, there is just so many great things for this uh, app, and I just encourage you dig into it, whether or not you've got the R5, the R6, even though the EOS R's is considered sketchy at best it still does work and I've used it to transfer images I've used it to control my camera in the past so I would encourage you the more that you use this thing the better it's gonna get and you're gonna understand how it works and what are the best scenarios for it to work uh, when it comes to the R5 and the R6 I'm telling you all I do is uh, when I open up the app it will automatically search for my R5 it will connect, the GPS will lock on, and then I'll be ready to go for the entire day. My phone is in my pocket. I don't have to worry about it disconnecting and reconnecting and all of that stuff. Um, there's a little button right in the bottom corner that says GPS, and that's when I know that it, it's tracking and, and it, that data is going into the file as I take it. So I've been really happy with a lot of the features that they've updated for um, the R5 and the R6. Uh, you know, it's really cool that they've used the same app over and over again so many years with all of these different cameras. So I don't have to have a ton of different apps on my phone, which I really appreciate. Um, also, you know, I just really like the fact that now I can transfer raw files. Before it was just JPEGs and they kind of released that update. And with the R5 that now has five gigahertz connection, which is an even better wireless connection uh, than it was in the past. This, the, uh, the stability is so much better that file transfers are so much faster. If you've got any questions or you got any ideas how you use the app, I would love to uh, just have you share those in the comment section below. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you know when new tutorials are coming up. Uh, lots of cool R5, R6, EOS R, RF lenses. It's kind of my world that I live in every day. And uh, we're just going to kind of be releasing some new videos to help us all become better creators. All right, guys. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you in the next one.